the first speaker on this and having so many attending here to speak to. Thank you. So uh, I will uh, just briefly tell you a little about Indian Drumming Services, which is uh, a 25 year old organization, part of the basic group, which is dedicated to livelihood promotion. And uh, uh, you will see three logos there, basic, sub K. Sub K is uh, an organization of the basic group, which has commercialized the uh, first product, not, not first product, the, uh, the product of ideas, which was in the area of creating a transactional platform. Sub K is called Sub K because it's sub K, less than 1,000. So it works in villages even having less than 1,000 people creating access to services at less than 1,000 price up, uh, enabling financial transactions at less than 1,000 rupees, within the 1,000 meters of the customer, and typically it does it through agents who are existing Kirana shop owners, or uh, pharmacy owners, or they have some cash flow, they have some traffic of women, they have some football, and so they are in a position to service, uh, use an outlet, to service customers, about how many customers again in their facility. So, uh, having said that, Indian Graphic Services next slide, please, uh, works on the basic model of a livelihood triad, where we work uh, from the bottom left in livelihood financial planning. So, that has been traditionally a lot of credit services, a lot of pension services, insurance, and things like that, and banking services now. And uh, institutional generative services, wherein there is training, there is uh, career planning, there is uh, market linkages, and agricultural and business development services, wherein there is farmer education. There, is, there, are, there are about nine companies under the basic umbrella. And Indian Government Services is the laboratory for all these. So, Subsea was conceived because it was a commercial opportunity using the transactional platform that has been created. And next slide, please. The transaction platform in the first stage looks like this. Now, the first stage is about uh, three and a half years of work, uh, two years of uh, running it uh, as a pilot, and the last one year of commercial success. In this transaction platform, we have a lot of boxes in the center and some circles on the left and right. Now, this is a patented intellectual property of and on the left side, customers in remote villages, sub villages, can interact with the rest of the world. You know, I, I really like what Mr. Satyavarana said about the uh, digital uh, dividend. Now, to reach the dividends across to uh, the excluded, to the underreached, you've got this whole platform which on the right side connects with any kind of a service provider or expert or uh, organization. So, to start with, the first year and a half commercial operation and pilot operation, uh, once two years, uh, Jan 2011, when we started, we have started with tax. We started with taking the core banking of syndicate bank, access bank, ICICI bank, ING Venture bank, and uh, a few other local banks. Taking the core banking to this platform and helping customers in rural areas to open accounts with KYC form details, access the other BCO. The BCO is a basic convenience outlet, which I'm not sure what I'm about, we call it a BCO. Now, these customers once they have their account set up on CPS for banking in about two weeks, it depends on time that banks have typically offered us, are in a position to actually have the uh, Kirana shop operate as a teller counter for the bank. They are depositing, they are withdrawing, they are uh, transferring funds, they are opening recurring deposits, they are uh, checking their balances, uh, many statements are provided. And this uh, device at the front end, uh, I'm sorry for the problem, I'll just pull it up. So we 
everything at our store. But since uh, I am uh, here, I'd like to show it to you. It's an application that is developed for any Java-enabled mobile and uh, works on a Nokia handset because the Nokia handset works in villages, the five foot test. And it's got a Bluetooth connection with a uh, device which has a UID compatible sensor. So this is the fingerprint biometric authentication available to the customer. There is also the application built with a voice biometric authentication. I'm sure there's been a lot of questions about that. I won't go into details about that. But the customer can authenticate himself either way. And the application is being loaded on this. These two are really connected. This is a receipt printer. So every transaction, first thing I need to print out. Simple as that. Once the transaction ID comes on the receipt, the same transaction ID is in the code banking of the bank server. So that's where we start. And uh, basically, what we are looking at and what is the core of Vitran, uh, Vitran is the service transaction platform, um, virtual transaction service provider, is to take this whole concept into multiple areas of the livelihood triad that we have. For example, in agricultural services, we are working, and these are various tests that IDS is doing, we are working on creating knowledge repositories. And those knowledge repositories would be a package of practices. And we are, you know, talking to uh, knowledge that basic Krishi Services Limited has, knowledge that Triple IT in Hyderabad has, knowledge that various institutions uh, in the agricultural sector have. And uh, taking them across on a subscription service platform to the end customer. Now, where in this basic banking module, the end customer need not have a mobile phone because he just needs the biometric authentication and he needs the subscription ID number. But in, in the case of identity services, as mobile is only present, the customer can actually shoot a photograph, let's say, of a uh, problematic uh, problem in a crop. Relay that across through his BCO to Vitran, which is connected to a pool of experts, which can immediately advise on what would be the appropriate remedy for that kind of a problem. This can also be done in an outbound manner. Like for instance, if there is a flood that uh, hits the, uh, the geography, then what are the kind of crops that to be grown there, or what are the kind of uh, uh, substances to be used to mitigate the effects of the flood because of the kind of uh, changes in the soil, can be uh, relayed across to the entire farming community over there. So, patches of practices are there. Then, diagnosis of crop problems that I just described. Then, uh, tracking service. Now, we have these livelihood uh, service uh, representatives all over the country. And uh, a lot of organizations have representatives in rural areas. And for so them, to be able to capture MIS and information from the point of sale has been a, a big challenge. For us, you know, uh, it, it, it's something that I will show you a trust process diagram, but uh, more we can discuss in our talk. But even even for an organization like Dabur, for instance, to know how it is done for them to be uh, reached across to a top K village is something that is impossible for them to tell. I have had several meetings with the uh, executive director came to such organizations. And it is through the mobile and through the fact that Vitra is capable of inventory management, knowledge management, and reconciliation of financial transactions that all these organizations can use use uh, the platform for uh, practice service delivery. And then again, it becomes a kind of community exchange uh, seller of the tractors. And buyers or people who want to lease tractors can all be on that with the database. So these are some simple applications on the agricultural side. Next, can you come to you? Likewise, uh, people who have skills, let's say carpenters, let's say uh, welders, you know, and people who need those, uh, uh, to use those skills, let's say I myself as IBS, uh, need to put up my uh, store banner, you know, which say, okay, access bank services here. I can print the flex in uh, a city and I can just send the across with a lightweight thing, but I can use the different database to uh, engage a local carpenter who would 
makes the prayer. And I take payments for that. So what we're talking about is cashless transactions in religion. It goes straight to his account. Of course, uh, Bitcoin is being used in a big way by uh, dairies, dairies, dairies and uh, cooperatives like that to pay farmers in a transparent and speedy manner. You know, so the milk producer uh, gets his money to the last paisa in his account and he just goes to the outlet and uh, withdraws as much as he needs. Consequently, we see in three months' time savings of 1800 rupees in uh, some districts of Bengal when we started the project. I'm not saying that's the standard, but uh, in three months' time, 1800 rupees is a considerable sum. That's which is leaving time. And uh, so uh, those kind of services, there, market linkages are possible. So there could be market linkages on the employment side, there could also be market linkages on uh, the agricultural side. And other services in financial planning, where uh, the, the job of uh, the BCO, the, uh, the agent, uh, becomes that of a, a person who's taking that village from uh, practically zero in terms of how they save. You know, their, their habit of saving and basis is not so much of knowledge in how people save. People save in chicken, because chicken multiply, people save in gold. People save in uh, inventory because they, they reach the right across to the go down and this is take the money, they just say, okay, it's not by taking the go, it's now also in there now. So those bottles and all, you know. So now with the ability of actual cash amount to be transacted, there's a lot of financial planning that can happen in terms of pension, in terms of regular savings and other such things, you know. So in just about the last minute or two, I'll take you through some of the processes of uh, what I've been telling you about in terms of extension. Next, please. Yes, two more questions. So let's look into subscription packages. Now these can be on text, on picture, and on video, where the farmer and the BCA can communicate, and the farmer gets expert advice uh, directly on his mobile phone. Yeah. Next. Now. Crop problems. So here the, there is a huge knowledge base that can be created, that is being created of uh, uh, problems and solutions for various kind of crops. And you see there's a damage leaf below. And a picture like that is good enough for an expert to examine. And uh, uh, I did not uh, mention, but very interestingly, we have uh, also addressed the cost problem at the last mile because the Entire uh, transaction can be done over GPRS, for which there is no requirement for the voice package. And that's a very cheap package uh, on a VPS uh, subscription. Some 50 rupees uh, is all at cost per month. So uh, for that, you've got multiple services that are coming. I this can, this need not use IVR and SMS, but it can too. Uh, or it can just be an uh, IT. Uh, a based uh, idea where you have voice packets that are going out as uh, solutions for farmers. Next, then tracking service delivery. So this is extremely cost effective. It can be used in agriculture, it can be used in distribution, it can be used in various things. Next, equipment information rental booking. So like uh, you see uh, near, near the word uh, rental booking, you've got the people who register themselves when equipment to leave. And in the bottom, uh, you've got uh, farmers who, uh, sorry, you've got the farmers who are uh, talking to the BCO at the bottom. The BCO, the BCSA, the sub-agent, the uh, BCSA. And the entire transaction and the knowledge management of what's available and uh, what can be, uh, what is the demand, what is the supply, can be managed through this. So consequently, the rentals also, for instance, would become very cost effective because there would be multiple people on the database. It's, a, it's something like just dial on the, on the mobile. Just dial on the So you, you, you get, a, get a choice of where to take your expensive farm equipment from. Put it. It will be made for us. Next. So now here, this is a complete employment exchange where you've got people uh, who need certain labor or certain skills. Uh, let's say I am a farmer and I have got my boy educated and he's finished uh, his college and uh, he doesn't know what to do next. He can be registered with the BCO, which is a 
Again, like I gave you the example of Jezreel.com on the mobile, we try and take a monster.com on the mobile. And then I explained it all. It's almost that. Next. And uh, financial planning where we, uh, actually we helping rural customers uh, manage their tax flow, educating them on methods and means of uh, saving scientifically and uh, in tune with one of the latest instruments available in the economy. So, and all this is being facilitated by a VCO who, whose qualification, other than the fact that he's got a shop and uh, cash flow, is the fact that he can read the names of his own mobile phone. If he can read that much, he's good enough to operate the rest and he's eligible to set up a shop with a 300 flow service. So that's uh, it till we have questions. Thank you. We have a plan to have the push uh, discussion session after the quick presentation is over. We are here up to 130 here.